it's Miss Ashley, and today we are exploring the ocean for speech practice. And we're practicing our sh and ch sounds. So when you hear those sounds, practice saying them along with me. Now remember, we make the sh sound by bringing our teeth together and rounding our lips like this. So teeth together and round your lips. We make the ch sound in a similar way, except the tip of your tongue touches the roof of your mouth, like this. Ch, ch. And it's a shorter sound. And we're also going to practice describing things and talk about opposites. Remember, opposites are words that have different meanings, like up and down. Those are opposites. Okay, are you ready? Now let's go swim down to the bottom of the ocean. Oh look, it's baby Charlotte. She's at the bottom of the ocean. The ocean is very, very deep. What's the opposite of deep? Deep means there is a lot of water that goes very far down. So the opposite of deep is a word that means not deep. It means there's only a little bit of water that doesn't come up very high. So the opposite of deep is shallow. Shallow means there's only a little bit of water. Think about the shallow end of a swimming pool. So it's more shallow at the shore of the ocean, where the beach is. It's deeper here in the middle of the ocean. Now I'm going to swim around and shine my flashlight to see if I can show you anything with the sh or the ch sounds. Let's see, what can we find? Oh, I found a ship. The ship must have been sinking from a shipwreck. Now, what's the opposite of sink? Sink means things go down in the water. So the opposite of sink is when things stay on top of the water. So when the ship was on top of the water, it was floating. So the opposite of to sink is to float. And look, the octopus has the ship. An octopus can shoot ink to protect itself from predators. Now let's see, what else can we find? A starfish. Starfish are shaped like stars. They have tiny suction cups on their feet that they use to catch their prey. And starfish can change colors to camouflage themselves. That means that they blend in with their environment to protect themselves from predators. Let's keep swimming. Oh. I found a crab. A crab is a type of crustacean. Crustaceans are sea animals that usually have a hard shell or a crust. So lobsters and shrimp are other types of crustaceans. They crawl here on the ocean floor. Now what's the opposite of the ocean floor? Remember, opposites are different. So think about what the top of the ocean is called, above the water. The opposite of the ocean floor is the surface. So let's go swim up to the surface.
So now we're going fishing and we're going to see what kinds of creatures that we can catch with our fishing pole. And we're going to look for things that have the sh or ch sounds in their names. And we're also going to describe these things. So we're going to say what they look like, what they feel like, it could be what they do or how they move, it could be where you find them or the parts to them or anything else that you know about them. So ready, let's catch something. Ooh, I caught something that has many sharp teeth. It eats fish. And many people are scared of it. What did I catch? I caught a shark. Sharks have many rows of sharp teeth. Let's see, what else can I find? Ooh, I caught something that has tentacles and a round jelly-like body. What did I catch? I caught a jellyfish. Let's see, what else can I find? Ooh, I caught an object this time. This is something that is hard. Some animals wear it on their backs and if you put it up to your ear, sometimes you can hear the ocean. What did I catch? I caught a seashell. Some seashells are shiny. Ooh, now I caught another object. Now this one is wooden. It opens and closes and it has lots of gold inside. What did I catch? I caught a treasure chest. The treasure chest has lots of gems and jewels and shiny gold. Well, that's it for today. Bye guys.